Welcome to Muncie, Indiana, home of the Ball State Cardinals, and we're looking forward to this matchup, and certainly the fans are showing that they are as well. We've got a terrific matchup for you today, rich in pageantry and tradition, and it ought to be a fantastic clash. As we'll see, the Coyotes taking on a team from the back, the Ball State Cardinals. 48 Sports College Football by Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. From inside the 10, here he comes. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So the Ball State Cardinals offense will take the first swing of the game. And here comes the talented freshman. A huge spot for him, and there might be a bit of a learning curve here, guys. No doubt, being so young, he just has to be able to handle his emotion. He's got a lot of talent. All kinds of running room. And he's brought down after a huge completion. And the Cardinals hit it quickly to the line. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. Wide out in motion. They'll try the run. Shakes off the defender. He has an extensive juke library, and he exhausted it and still didn't pick up much. They'll try to run for it. Ripping off a good chunk inside the 25, and they're set up with a first down. The Cardinals are on the move. Looking for a crease. It's Clark. Able to make the stop after a gain of two to the 22. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Oh, and they'll try to catch him with a pass. He's got it down the middle. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. And the Cardinals are threatening on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he waltzes in for the score. Touchdown, Cardinal. And that is the kind of drive to start a season that's going to put a smile on your head coach's face. They were just methodical in the way they marched down the field. Awesome execution. You cannot start the season any better than that one there. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. They put together an 81-yard drive, and he found his way to the end zone from the seven to cap it. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Coyotes' offense will take the field for the first time. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. Out of the gun, the running back has it. So, guys, over the last few years, there have been seismic changes to college football. Realignment, name, image, alignment. But one of the biggest changes, the transfer portal. Yeah, and now guys that are unhappy or in a situation where they see something that they'd rather be in, now you can leave, and there is no penalty. So a lot of recruiting, Jesse, on other people's teams that go on throughout a season. Yeah, it's 365, and it's a lot of pressure on coaches to re-recruit their own players as well to try to keep those rosters intact. But the transfer portal completely flips rosters upside down. One team that struggles this year, if they get one key addition, it's a team potentially competing for a national championship next season. And the Coyotes moving quickly to the line. Second 
from the gun. The running back looking for room. It's a fumble. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. Oh, and it's a hit like that that will absolutely light up the sideline, light up the stadium, change the momentum, and help you win a football game because that hit is what caused that fumble. Ball State gets it back. The offense headed to the field. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. And you know, you hear all these stupid commentators like me and Jesse talking about create balance, you run and pass. No, when you throw that good, spin the ball around. So the defense has to find a way to affect the quarterback on this drive because last drive, he had way too much time to throw. Motion from the offense. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Got three on first down at second and seven. Give to the running back. Just ran over it. They'll get the first down. It's spotted on the 49. The Cardinals come to the line with a fresh set of downs. The run from the shotgun. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good game before the stop is made. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. They've got it at the 36. It's a first and 10. Running back searching for a hole. And he was able to shed a tackle and pick up the first down before they finally get him on the ground. From the 25-yard line, it's first and 10. He's looking to throw it. Finds his big tight end. They make the tackle, but he's got a fresh set of downs, and it's first and goal from the seventh. So, so close to cashing it in for this offense. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. Man, he's already got 43 yards rushing already. You want to talk about it? And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Ball State. And this offense is firing on all cylinders right now. Starting the year, game one, creating a little bit of a pad and separation at the end of this first half. But you can see why so many people are really excited about this offense this season. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Georgia has the lead right now, but they have not been able to separate themselves just yet between the hedges of Sanford Stadium. They're up by 10 over the Pandas. For now, it's back to you fellas, but of course, if anything changes, you'll see it right here. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Finds a little bit of space, gets three to the 22. Right back to the well. Maybe picked up a couple, he's down at the 24. The Coyotes will hustle through the line. Shotgun snap, wants to throw it on third. Wide open downfield. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they have a first down at the 43. Hard work pays off, guys. These offenses work so hard week in, week out, working on those critical down and distances. Third downs. And having that conversion this early in the game, that's got to feel good for this offense. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. I love how the wide receiver just wasn't lazy at this point because he could have cut that route short, but he knew he had to extend the route to make sure he got that first down and help keep this drive alive. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Second down. They'll try it over the left side. And a good, solid pickup for the defense cuts him down. 
They plow ahead with the run, but still more ground needed to pick up the first down. Third down coming. He'll pull it on the read. Open space at the 25. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. On the doorstep of cashing it in for the offense. They'll run it on first and goal. Knocked down after a gain of one. They'll mark it at the six. Now it's second and goal. He's looking to throw. Flips it out to the back. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. Twice they've been denied touchdowns in the red zone, and now it's third and goal. Pocket starts to collapse, and he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. So they'll send out the field goal unit, and he'll try it from the right. Hash and the angle shouldn't be too bad from this distance. And he missed it. No good. Guys, they missed field goal, and nothing changes. Still a 14-point game. And that's just a chip shot. That's just a field goal they got to make in this. Ball State takes over the football in the Cardinal offense, headed out. How about the way they attacked the last time they had the ball, mixing run and pass and winding up in the end zone, Jesse? That's why recruiting is so important. They've got weapons at every skill position on the field. Any of these guys is dangerous if they touch the football. Let's see what they do on this drive, David. And so, Palmer, I gotta take away something. I can't let them have everything and have success. I gotta be aggressive against the run or play for the pass. I can't give them everything. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. And off from the shotgun. At the 45 on his way. He now has 63 yards on the ground. And they wanted to have an identity as a running team. And he's giving them that in the season opener. Right back to the well. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. They'll operate on a split back. We have the early makings of a quarterback duel, as these stats will show you. Just about ready to get things started here in the second. We'll see if they continue to flex that muscle. Wide receiver shows motion. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. They work that running game down to the 34. Let's give him three on the carry. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Got it in the middle. It's Webster. Moving deeper into enemy territory. Move the chains. It's first down to the 27. From the shotgun, the inside give. Defense holds their ground, pickup of a yard, it's at the 26. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. They make the stop, give him three yards on the carry, balls at the 24. Balls at the 24, a lot of confidence in their kicker from here, but they'd love to take it off of his foot and convert the first down. Works the middle of the field. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give him a first down. First down. They're going back to the ground. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. On second down, he'll let it fly. He's got it in the end zone! Touchdown, Cardinals! You talk to any quarterback, and they love finding the big tight.
tight end. Hard to overthrow the big fellows with the big reach, the nice mitts, nice catch by the tight end. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and the lead balloons to 21. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Fielded in the end zone, it's Flowers. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Quickly to the tight end. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt. He was going down. Great job for him. And the Coyotes want to pick up the tempo. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Got his man quickly. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm. What better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting to his direction. He wants to pass it on second down. This one's complete. Well, the drag route's put in this playbook to fight against man-to-man -man coverage. So there you see the receiver using his speed, working his way across the field. He gets separation on the DB, trying to trail him, makes the catch, turns it upfield for the first. Love to see these third down conversions on offense, and they're out to their own 39-yard line. They'll throw it on first down. Flips it out in the flat. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. They'll try to snap it quickly. Looking to throw on second down. The sweet feet keeping the play alive. And he avoids the hit and slides after the short game. They'll come to the line needing four yards for a first down. They're already two for two on this drive. Here's the snap, itching to fire downfield. Grabbed in the backfield, it's Beal. They make the stop, but not before the screen has hit him for a first down and much more really good execution by this offense. Well, there's an example of the quarterback just creating on the fly because I think that was supposed to go to the running back on a screen, and he just saw an open guy downfield and said, I don't know, I'm just going to throw it down to this dude. He's wide open. I know it's not how we drew it up, but we'll take it. This offense has a second down play. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. Just a one-yard game leaves them with third and nine. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Makes the catch. It's Wilkerson. And the Cardinals miss another opportunity for a third down stop. Not the most productive half for this offense so far, but finally starting to get it in gear. First and ten. He wants to throw. Fires to the middle. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Looking to the big tight end. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. This drive was clicking along, but after a couple of misfires, threatening to stall out on third and ten. Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical pass defense. It brings up a fourth down. They'll send out the kicker to try to salvage this drive. It is perfect. That makes the score Ball State 21, Coyotes 
They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Ball State gets it back. The offense headed to the field. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. you got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. He locked up and held on to bring him down. Third down conversions, always a huge stat. And they've got a third and long from the 27. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. The Cardinals will call on their punt team. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. This drive will start at their own 27-yard line. Off the play fake on first down to throw. What a job to lay out and make the catch. He threw that one with some serious heat. This senior quarterback doesn't need a lot of space to get it in there. Quarterback on the keeper. Turns it on in midfield. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea, because if he can get out in space and he has a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. Looking to pass on second down. The quarterback's a little more on target there. Maybe they hook up, but it's an incompletion. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. And the defense will corral the quarterback, and down he goes at midfield. In these situations, third and eternity, I, I know exactly what to do. I'm putting more DBs on the field. I know it's a pass, my best pass defenses, and then I turn my pass rushes loose. Go get that QB. The Coyotes decide to punt it away. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. No fair catches here, looking for room. Pretty solid coverage there, and they'll stop him at the 26. Ball State takes over the football, and the Cardinal offense headed out. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Surges across the 30, out to the 32, a six-yard run. He now has 85 yards rushing already here in the first half. It's a season opener, but he's in mid-season form. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. On third and short, just trying to get enough for the first down. They've got it to the 49-yard line, and they'll move the chain. And the Cardinals getting set on first and ten. Just when they're looking run, now up top. It's incomplete, and he's lucky to get that one back. Almost intercepted. Second down coming up. The play action fake. Quickly out to the tight end. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. We've reached the two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. After the misfire, now on second down. They want to just keep throwing it. Fires to the tight end. And that is good versatility there. And a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. This has the makings of a good drive. The seventh play brings up a third and four. Hits him in stride inside the ten. Touchdown, Ball State. Made the grab and finished the deal in the end zone. 
quarterback's ability to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the timing. To be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone, that was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. Listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point gives him a 28-3 lead. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? A bit of an under-the-radar game this week, guys, but take a look at this. Georgia is currently up big at this moment, so much so they're on the verge of giving Ugga the rest of the day off. They're up by 24 over the Pandas. We've got our eye on things here and everything else going on right now, and any updates, you'll see them here. Guys. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. And now on second down for this offense. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Fires into traffic, picked off. Touchdown, Cardinals. What a great play by the defense and paying it off with the interception return. Look, I know it's only the second quarter, but we're starting to see a pretty significant gap develop between these two teams right now. No doubt. When your defense is scoring, your offense is scoring, good things happening for your ball club. This defense on point, reading their scouting report, making big plays. Lining up to add another. And with that extra point, the lead remains in the gargantuan category. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. First down here for the offense. He'll start this drive firing. A little screen to the running back. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Comes out throwing on first down. Holds it in. And they get him down at the 43, but this is the kind of explosive play you want to build on. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Just too much of a rush, and down goes the quarterback just behind the midfield stripe at the 49. We've got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't not free for a fumble. It'll be third down. The give on the inside. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. And the Coyotes will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Special teams coming through as they pin them back. They'll mark it dead at the 10. Ball State gets it back. The offense headed to the field. The gift to the back. It's these little moments like that that can help an offense as he gets it up to the 16-yard line. To the ground with the back. He'll be brought down, and that's the final play of the half. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, what a scene there in Muncie. What a fine performance we've seen. And it'd be easy to say these two offenses are glad we've hit halftime based on their respective performances. It would also be accurate. Turnovers and sacks have told the story so far. And you got to believe the play calling has been the issue, right? Time to shred those game plans and just get back to basics. And with that, let's head back to the guys at Schumann Stadium. The Cardinals will kick it away to crank up the second half. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. They love to put a long drive together here as they start from their own 21. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. Gets it to the back. And that will go backwards. A negative play, and that defense on high alert that time. 
He'll try to pop the draw. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Probably the toughest call on the play sheet. Third and long. Ball's at the 25. Finds his target down the middle. He's going to have enough to pick up the first down as they stop him at the 33-yard line. That's a first down for the offense. The running back has it. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And here comes the offense on second down. From the gun, the ground game. And he's brought down after a nice game. The Coyotes have their offense in high gear. First down for the offense. It's reverse. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. He'll try to overcome that last play on second and 15. Pulls and throws off the RPO. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moving forward just a few. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Now adjusting. Trying to escape and get it himself. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. And the Coyotes will try to pin them back with the punt. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. Ball State takes over the football and the Cardinal offense headed out. Wide receiver now comes in motion. The jet sweep pass. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Just got one on that last run. Now second and nine from their own 26. Now the play fan. The timing was just off with the freshman pass well behind him. Somebody needs to make a play here. It's third and long from the 26. From the gun, wants to pass. Complete downfield. They got him free for a big gainer down to the 43. Quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. Off play action on first down. Using the quick game. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. And the Cardinals will snap it on first and ten. They've marched to the red zone, and here they go. Touchdown, Ball State. And the pummeling has started. And everybody's getting in on the front now for this offense. From the opening whistle, they have been up and down the field. Starters are scoring. You've got backups in the game now. And I love the play calling. These guys came to your school to play in this offense to score touchdowns. So let them go do it. Make this defense prove they can stop. On to attempt the try. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. They put together a five-way, 75-yard drive. And they close the deal with a 20-yard pass for six. Here's the return from inside his tent. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Out comes the offense as they get set to take over. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Maybe picked up a couple. He's down at the 24. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Off play action. They're bringing heat. And the quarterback caught up two and sacked at the 12. Well, we've seen this offense struggle early in this game, protecting the quarterback. They went in at halftime, thought they'd made the right adjustments, but it's not looking like it right now. They're still having issues keeping this guy standing up straight. Up front, they're just getting beat across the board. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. He'll pull it down. Got to protect the merchandise. Gets down without taking a hit. The Coyotes line up to punt it away. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. Slips through the line. And the punt team able to smack him to the ground. Ball State gets it back. The offense headed to the field. 
That last touchdown drive was surgical through the air, Jesse. It sure was, and that's why this offense is so dangerous, David, because they can score in a hurry because of how efficient they are throwing the football. And welcome to modern college football. That's what it is. Spread you out, find my playmakers, make quick decisions, and really put defenses in a difficult situation. And a nice solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. Clock kicks across the four-minute mark here in the third. Leaves it with the back. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. The Cardinals are threatening in the red zone. Might as well give it to him again. Picked up maybe a yard. It's down at the 16. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Fast motion from the offense. Give to the back. Able to get one down to the 15. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third down, he drops to throw. He's got it on the run. Gets it inside the five. Down to the four, and it'll be first and goal. New center downs right on the doorstep for this offense. They'll dial up the run on first and goal. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. They'll try to slam it in. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. The big fellas coming out in the goal line defense. That brings us to the close of the quarter, and Ball State has the lead. Well, guys, so far, this has been a massive beatdown, and it would appear the biggest challenge is what kind of records can they set as we have a look at the third quarter stats. So will the beatdown continue, or is this a comeback for the ages in store? We'll see as we start the fourth. Barrels ahead. Touchdown, Cardinals! And the beatdown has ensued. This has been a complete performance. The defense has been lights out, and the offense, obviously, just continues to pour it on. This is what you call having a great day. Putting it all together, offense, defense, complimentary football. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good, and put one more on the lead. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Week in and week out, guys. You never know what's going to happen in college football. Check this out. Georgia is running away with this one thanks to an offense that's been sick of them since the opening kickoff. Trying to find his man on first down. And his first pass is incomplete. After the quarterback and receiver couldn't connect, it's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Grabbed in the middle. It's Wilkerson. And he might be known for run fits, but that was a short and heavy tackle on the tight end. They'll snap it from the gun on third down. Makes the grab on the left. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. And the Coyotes come to the line with a new set of downs. To the air on first down. On target. Guys at the backfield now, it's not just run the ball downhill anymore. You gotta be versatile. I gotta be able to trust you in the pass game, and I gotta be able to throw you the football. You can do that right there. Pass on the way. It's picked off. Didn't get a ton on the return, but the most important thing, he got the ball, and they've got it at the 48. The number one objective for a defense is to make the offense one dimension. Well, when they're trailing by this much late in the game, they're one dimension. They have to pass the football. We can bring more speed on the field. You see it. We know you're throwing the football. Nice break on the football. Nice interception. This one's almost over. They'll go to the ground. Really putting together a threat now. They get the first. It's at the 37. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They're getting this guy lathered up. 
Found that crease, and they knock him down after a pickup of five to the 32. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He leaves it with his back. Stop is made at the 22. A 10-yard pickup and a first down just outside the red zone. Looking to move it through the air. Finds his big tight end. I tell you, I love the play call on first down here. You're just trying to find an easy completion. And the shortest throw on the field for the quarterback is finding your biggest target, and that's the tight end. Nice job. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Wants to throw on third down. Floats it out in space. And they knock him down, but he got past the line of the game. And the Cardinals line it up with a first and goal. First and goal, ball state. They'll try to get it in with the run. Touchdown, ball state. And the route is on. Points, points, and more points. This offense has had their way. They just keep their foot on the gas, keep putting up points, keep putting up touchdowns. And you know what? This is one of those stats days. You look back and you're like, that guy had 12 touchdowns on the year. Well, four or five of them might have been in this game. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. 56, Coyotes, three. He'll take the return and try to improve the field position. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. Good news, I guess, a lot of room to work with as they start this drive from their own 15. Fires to the right. Oh, what a grab by the defense. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Nice job on this defense. That might be the exclamation point. Fourth quarter, I got a lead. You bring on the nickel defense. You know they're passing the football for plays just like that to make the INT almost put this one away. And the offense suddenly with an opportunity it couldn't have expected with a first and goal after the pick. He's looking to pass. Snags it. Touchdown, Cardinals! And the stomping has commenced. And this always is the debate of where you fall. It's your job to stop me or I should get concerned. Because this offense obviously has had themselves a day. And apparently, their day's not over. They're going to continue to keep scoring. And the defense better do something about it. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with the extra point, the lead is even bigger. That's taking advantage of a golden opportunity set up with great field position, and they struck quickly for the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. And the returner will be knocked down. His drive will open from the 15. Wants to throw on first down. Fires left. Makes the grab. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Going up top on first down. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. And that's a first down for the offense. He's going to pass. Pulls it in. Makes that one pay off, and they finally get him down at the 38. It'll be first down. He's looking to throw it. Catch in the middle. It's Hainsworth. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. Now on second down. Trying play action. They're trying to get to it. And the Heat gets home. They knock him down back at the 45. This defense, they are tenacious. And they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong that they can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play action. The 
This is a third and long. He's looking downfield to throw. He took a hit as he threw it. Couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete and fourth down's coming. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. Ball State takes over the football in the Cardinal offense. Headed out. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect it. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out everybody right now in the same game. They'll run it. They want to take their time here. They knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They'll give it to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Now facing a third and long. Third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Snagged in the middle, it's Presley. Tackle is made after the first down. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. Wide receiver coming across in motion. From the gun, running back on the move. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. The give from the gun. Finally stopped at the 46 after a 15-yard gain. The Cardinals have it with a first and 10. The inside handoff. Oh, he's got a chance. Really nice pickup on that one as they get it to the 36. It'll be first down. When you know you have a team out in class, the ability to play to that standard and finish with a blowout like this is really impressive. And it's almost like playing against yourself, right? You know you're better. You know you're going to win the football game. But how do I continue to still execute? This, this was so easy. Great execution. Uh, just beat down in every facet. I think as a player, you just love being in such great rhythm. And we saw that right from the get-go in this game. Offense just able to matriculate the ball down the field. Defense was not giving anything up. What a great game plan coming in. And this was just total domination. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.